Hello and welcome to the 2016-17 Cherry Creek High School Continuing Students Registration Video. Registration is a four-part process. First, you will receive and complete your course registration form. Second, you will enter your course request into PowerSchool. Third, you will prepare for self-scheduling. And fourth, you will build your schedule at your self-scheduling appointment. In early February, you will review your unofficial transcript and consider graduation requirements and college admissions requirements as part of your choices for courses for next year. You will want to consult with teachers, parents, counselors, and a registration guide before making course choices. Once you've reviewed those prior things, you will fill out your course registration form and make sure that you have signatures from the following. Your current teachers, your parents, and of course, your own signature. Why should I take pre-reg seriously? Because the master schedule is based on what students decide on a pre-reg forms. The courses listed on a course registration form are the only courses that you will be allowed to self-schedule for in the spring. Schedule changes in the fall are extremely difficult and are definitely no fun. Things you need to be considering, making sure that you're thinking about life after Creek, such as meeting graduation requirements, PE, health, American government. What classes do I need for colleges to be considered a strong applicant for admission? You will notice the Cherry Creek High School graduation requirements. These are the same as they have been for the last several years. Please note the required credits in English, Social Studies, Math, and Science. Please notice that foreign language is not required. However, it is highly encouraged as many colleges require it for admissions. Notice the PE, Health, and Practical Fine Art credits that are required to be a graduate of Cherry Creek School District. And finally, the elective credits for the total of 22. Higher education admission requirements, also known as the HERE requirements, are the basic requirements or the minimums that are required by any four-year public college or university in the state of Colorado. Please consider other district policies that are very important. First, that students must be enrolled in four core classes every semester for all four years of high school. Second, students must be, if they're in 10th grade, in a minimum of six classes, if they are in 11th or 12th grade, in a minimum of five. No student can pre-register for more than seven classes, and you must check the prerequisites of every course in the registration guide. Please make sure that you consider checking the following graduation requirements, prerequisites, and your postgraduate plans before registering for classes. Think about what is best for both college admissions and test scores, which is considering the most rigorous course load that you can handle that you can do well in. Courses that you need to pay attention to that take two consecutive periods in your schedule are the following. AP Biology, AP Physics, and Engineering Physics, both CP and Honors. There are certain classes that juniors and seniors need to consider taking that are required before graduation. Every student must have a half credit of American government in either their junior or senior year. Every junior or senior must also consider taking a half credit of social studies for graduation as well. If you have not completed your U.S. history requirement, you must take that as well. Electives, health, PE, and fine arts. If you have not completed your elective credits at this point, you must do so during your junior or senior year to graduate. Once you have considered your classes, the next thing is gaining signatures. In English, math, science, social studies, and foreign language, Signatures are required of all of your present teachers. Online classes for next year do not require teacher signatures. Parent and student signatures are also required for self-registration. 
Course registration forms must be completed by the following. Juniors by February 17th, sophomores by February 19th, and freshmen by February 23rd. In mid-February, you will begin putting your class registration choices into PowerSchool. If you are a junior, you will do so on February 17th or 18th through your English class. If you are a freshman or a sophomore, you will input your class registration form through your social studies class. If you are a sophomore, you will do so on February 19th through February 22nd. If you are in ninth grade, you will do so in February 23rd or February 24th. If you do not have all the required signatures, you will not be allowed to register. Some other options that students should consider. Career and Technical ed Education courses, also known as CTE. There is a separate application that you must complete that is available in counseling. Some of these classes are two-year classes. You will want to talk to your counselor to make sure that you can plan ahead. Many of the classes have limited spots. Some examples of CTE classes include Teacher Cadet, Criminal Justice, Aviation, Medical Careers, and Auto Mechanics. There are also online courses through Cherry Creek School District that are available to juniors and seniors. No teacher signature is required. However, you do need to pick up the registration form through the registrar's office. It is highly encouraged that the student is self-motivated because the course requires intensive work online outside of the normal school day. This course or courses can be counted towards their five or six classes and may be used towards the four course requirement. If I am considering a CTE course and I don't have enough time in the school day to take a core course for core, is that permissible? You will want to have a conversation with your counselor to see if this is permissible. If so, the counselor will ask you to complete a waiver form. You need to make sure that you are in good credit standing. With all CTE courses, you will register for five or six classes prior through the registration to self-scheduling. The course will be added to self-scheduling prior to the time that you have for on your appointment. Is there any way that I can take summer school to get ahead in courses or is it only for students who need to make up a D or an F in a core class? There are four classes that are offered for credit during summer school to get ahead. American Government, Health, PE, and World Geography. All other courses are only available for students who need to make up a D or an F. It is highly recommended that you take summer school the summer immediately following the school year where you receive the DNF or an F in that core class. If I am trying out or auditioning for a class and I don't know the outcome of those additions, how do I pre-register? All students should pre-register for the general choir, band, or orchestra during pre-reg time. When additions are completed, each teacher will notify the registrar's office of the selections made and the necessary changes will be made to the pre-reg form so that in self-scheduling you will see the appropriate choir, band, or orchestra. Are there courses I may take to meet my health requirement for graduation? You may take Foods and Nutrition and Contemporary Relationships to waive that health credit. If done, your counselor will take care of the waiver for you. What types of PE waivers are available? PE waivers are available for any grade level. If you've participated in a chassis sanctioned sport through the school and finished the season in good standing, you may be eligible for a PE waiver. A PE waiver is also available for marching band as well. Waivers are available in the counseling or registrar's office. You may only waive a half credit of PE in your high school career. Who should I consider talking to when deciding on class choices? You should encourage, you should talk to your current teachers, your parents, counselors, as they will have the best information to help you with your choices. 
You may also come to an on-call counselor during 4th, 5th, or 6th period if you cannot speak with your own. Part 3 of registration begins with the master schedule that will be available on Monday, April 4th. To access this, you will go to the Cherry Creek High School website, click on the Registrar link on the left-hand side, and then click on Master Schedule. You will also receive in April an email in your Creek Mail account that will have the following. Your pre-reg choice sheet, your self-scheduling appointment time, and a sub sample self-schedule worksheet. If you are a junior, you will receive this on April 14th, a sophomore will receive this on April 20th, and a freshman will receive this on April 27th. If you cannot make your self-scheduled time, can I schedule prior to that time? Please do not bother to ask. You can only schedule at your self-scheduled appointment time or any time after that during your off period. The fourth part is self-scheduling. This is located in the registrar's office. During that time, you must come at your appointment time, bring your school ID, and your sample schedule worksheet. Your self-scheduling will take place on the following dates. Juniors will self-schedule on April 18th through April 22nd. Sophomores will self-schedule between April 25th and April 28th. And ninth graders will self-schedule between May 2nd and May 5th. Your appointment time is based on an alphabetical rotation. If you miss your assigned time, you may schedule during any day after that time during any off period. You will see here an example of self-scheduling. When you enter your PowerSchool information, it will pull up what you pre-reg for through PowerSchool. You will notice here the eight periods across the top and the classes available for the different periods of the ones that you pre-regged for. You will click on the course to highlight the ones that you want during the different periods. For this one, this student has selected a course during first period and then selected a second semester class for second period during this slide. On the next slide, you will see that this student has now selected all of their courses. As you see, they're highlighted towards the top under the periods 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, and 8. Once you have selected all of your courses, you will click on Check Schedule, and it will pull up to see your schedule in a listed form. Once you have reviewed it, you will finalize your schedule. After it is finalized, you will see the schedule below and it will allow you to print to be sent to your email automatically. Please know that at this point, no changes can happen to your schedule until ARENA schedule changes in the fall. Thank you for listening to this video and have a great second semester.